Tropical Storm Debbie continues to crawl across the southeastern United States. CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing joins us to explain why Debbie is moving so slow. Rachel. Yeah, so right now Debbie is only moving three miles per hour. But why is it moving so slow? Well, it's all about the steering flows or the wind in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So right now we have two big ridges. Think of these ridges as high pressures. One over the U.S. and one we call the Bermuda High because it's near Bermuda. Now, the Bermuda High is eventually going to nose in from the east, and that's actually going to cause those steering flows to push Debbie from the south to the north. But the high over the U.S. will push east, and that will cause the steering flows to push from north to south. So Debbie sort of gets caught up in these flows because they oppose each other, so it just sits and spins basically in the same place. Now, eventually this Bermuda High is going to ease up, and the jet stream is going to come in, very quickly take Debbie away from us and up toward the northeast. We have unfortunately had experience with this in the past, but slow-moving tropical systems can be especially bad. So if a storm doesn't move out very quickly, whatever impacts it brings will be felt for much longer. This increases the flooding risk, especially with Tropical Storm Debbie, because it's going to produce a lot of rain. Also, if it doesn't move out as quickly, we get rain in the same places for hours or even days. That rain ends up having nowhere to go and we start start flooding. A slow moving storm also means the strong winds it will bring will be with us longer and depending on the track of the storm, it could also mean a prolonged risk for tornadoes. Now we're gonna be talking about Debbie for a long time, feel like we've already been talking about it for a while, but it's not the only thing in the tropics right now. Another wave is trying to develop here in the Caribbean, but right now it looks to stay away from North Carolina for the time being. Odds for development are pretty low, about 30% right now. However, if it does get a name, it would be Ernesto.